Salutations, viewers, I'm Sir Bookwriter, and I'm on a race against the calendar to beat all 96 of my 200cc time trial runs before the year ends. Last time, we drove down Shroom Ridge, and then afterwards rolled the number 69, which takes us to Berlin Byways. Nice. Berlin Byways is the first track of the Moon Cup, released in Wave 3 of the Booster Course Pass. It's also another tour city track, with each lap going through a different part of the track, and the second track in a row where traffic is a primary obstacle. Fortunately, they're not as much of a hassle here as they are on Shroom Ridge. Before Wave 4, this was also a track affected by the timer glitch. Since the finish line is crossed backwards, every single finishing time would end in one of these digits. No one knows why the extra .001 is added compared to normal section tracks like Big Blue and Mount Wario, but fortunately, for my sake, it got fixed, so I am no longer obligated to care. On Day 1, Alpha was the dominant record holder, staking his claim on his home country. If we lived in a perfect world, he'd still be dominant today, but alas, we don't. Technical would keep the record for a few days, and then Army swooped in and has pretty much had the record since. Eternal X and Miguel would pose challenges, and the latter actually kept the record for a decent while, but Army bopped him in February while taking a break from destroying Daisy Circuit, and that record is the one that stands today. Let's watch it and see why competition is so scarce here. You'd think this track would begin with a start shroom. However, that would result in one of these two cars completely blocking your path. Army is forced to be content with the normal startup boost, a quick empty, and driving in a straight line for a solid 5 seconds. Finally, Army sees some action, performing an SMT around this first corner, snaking all the way into the train station, dealing with some passable stairs, and then MT tricking out. In this section, Army goes wide not only to collect these two coins, but also to ensure that he can charge an SMT. After that, he does one more MT trick and a wall boost to end lap 1. On lap 2, there's now a glider ramp here, and Army takes full advantage of motion gliding to avoid another 5 seconds of desert bus. Er, German bear? Uh, I don't know. Army then veers left with the track, stays on the inside of the bus, grabs coin 10, and finally uses his first shroom through this off-road patch and chains it into an SMT. Army does a few more MTs through this section, making sure to avoid every car. Upon reaching the boost panel, Army does one more MT around this corner, starts his next drift instantly, drifts into the grass on the left, and uses his second shroom to cut all the way around the corner, making sure to stay tight to avoid the truck. The Womps have suddenly appeared here, but they're basically just decoration. We begin lap 3 from the opposite direction, where Army just casually drifts through this off-road patch and releases an SMT. He does a couple of alignment hops while driving past the Berlin Wall, which houses the only appearance of Womps across the entire Mario Kart series. Army SMTs around the corner, and prepares himself for by far the worst part of the track. Welcome back stairs. This track would probably be a lot more contested if these stairs didn't exist, as they contain all sorts of problems. I'll let the gameplay side of things cover that though. Army manages to survive, MT tricks out of the section, then repeats the second shroom from lap 2 and the entire following sequence all the way to the finish line. You know, I think I might actually just use the same combo as Shroom Ridge. Because Pipeframe is not that much slower, if slower at all here. The only reason Teddy is still used is because of the glider. Like, I currently use Pipeframe. But I'm going to try out Varmint because, one, I was just playing Shroom Ridge. And, two, Pipeframe is fat. Also, yeah, I'm literally just jumping into it right off the rip. Oh, right, it uses Kamek, not Yoshi. Whoops. I'm, I was so eager to get into it that I chose the wrong character. This, this just looks funny. Wait, hang on. Actually, this has the same stats, and it's purple. Let's give it a shot. Fun fact, did you guys know you can do this part backwards? It 
That's a neat trick. Okay, problem number one. The drift sometimes just doesn't start on the stairs. Why can you trick off of that? I have several questions. Several questions. Oh. Wow. Star Shrooming is so not viable. I may be down a coin, but that's okay. What's not okay is the random air you get from this shroom. We don't talk about what just happened there. And we definitely don't talk about that. Actually, no, we do need to talk about that. We need to start a dialogue about that. Why? Hang on, I have an idea. For a way I can potentially survive stairs. I don't know if it's faster, it's just a gambit. But it might work out. Okay. It has potential. I just need to, you know, not screw up. Alright, now don't die. Was a good shroom. Empty miss sucks, but it's recoverable. Almost. Yeah, I do like that stair strat. Bro flew. It's so difficult to survive that. No matter which way you go. SMT miss is unfortunate. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. The just the NISC at the start of lap three is I think my main source of time loss. Aside from, you know, stairs. Oh, come on. That coin miss sucks. But so long as we don't miss any more, it should be fine.
I had a moment was like, wait, how is my ghost gaining on me? And then I remembered I was down a coin. Alright, moment of truth. Let's go! The stair strat worked! Whew. That lap one was unfortunate, because that legit just straight up cost me sub. But hey, what did I say? So long as I didn't miss any more coins, it was manageable. And what do you know? Uh, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, we are up a coin until the end of lap two. We're also up in the air. Where is my ghost? What happened to bro? Uh oh. Okay, I need to come up with a plan. Failing works as a plan. Oh, wall boost. Nice. Oh, missed the empty. Nice. That lost point two. Oh. Oh, I guess we're going this way now. <laughs> this track is funny. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. That... Those laps one and three are unfortunate on a number of levels. That lap two is really good. For my current level, anyways. I should get this one. I should get 123. I really should. Uh, the problem is, I'm not sure if I have time... Not just in general, but today specifically. You know what? We'll do one attempt. Or no, we'll do five. Five attempts. And if all of them fail, then I'm done here. All right, yeah, as much as it pains me, I'm done here. I want to come back for sub, but ugh. this is also the third time in this series where I've ended on a point zero. Uh, yeah, no, I'm done. Goodbye.
It's a bit of an anticlimactic ending to this track, ending on a point zero zero two, and it's also the third time in this series that I've ended on a point zero, even though I absolutely could be subbing. However, I'm just here to improve, not set any sort of time. And if I don't get that time within the time frame, so be it. I've also got almost 80 more tracks to do. So let's jump that number down one and see what's next. Wow, we're really just taking down the Lucky Cat Cup, huh? Sky Gardens next. All right. <laughs> 